Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time and locations. You'll be watching this video. Yes, my dear viewers, I am back again with another update. So guys, I have a video here I would like we all to watch. But before then, if you're meeting my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please kindly do well to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thought on the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video. And I will see you towards the end. What it calls a plot to hijack the obedient movement in Imo State. At a news conference in Abuja, spokesperson of the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, Yunusa Tanko, said the party observed attempts by some politicians to confuse the obedient family and pursue an identity theft agenda aimed at misdirecting supporters of Labour Party. The party insists that the obedient brand is a copyright ownership of the party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. The obedient movement does not have any coordinator anywhere. Nobody should thread with the obedient movement. Nobody should engage into political marketing with the obedient movement. Our leader is His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi. We believe in his philosophy, we believe in his antecedents, and we believe in his political journey. Right, Yunusa Tanko, spokesperson, Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, joins us now uh, to help us understand exactly who is trying to hijack uh, the obedient uh, in Imo State. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight. Good to see you. Thank you very much for having me. So, now the question is, who is trying to hijack uh, the you know, obedience in Imo State and exactly in what way are they doing it? All of those who are contesting against the Labour Party, are accused of this particular attempt because humongous money has been shared among different different groups to lay claim that the obedient movement can now vote for a particular candidate aside from the Labour Party candidates and mm -hmm. trying to send a signal that look the obedient movement does not belong to a political party it belongs to a movement that is trying to make a change and the change is directly under the brand ownership of Peter Gregory OB. And that is exactly the message we are trying to sell. And, and let me try to draw your attention back to mm. 2023 February during the elections. Most of the strategy that was put in place, and, that now, and now here is a warning and a very more big warning for our members to be mindful of some of the gimmicks that they trade. Most of our candidates were being sold out and being told that they are not contesting anymore. In fact, at the last minute, the president candidate of our party, Peter Gregory Obi, at a point was our members were being told that he has already sold out to another candidate that he's no more contesting. So they put in this particular gimmick as a way in which to demarket our candidate. So we've learned from that particular situation. And now that's why we are giving early warning for those who have traded this particular idea and then making press statement saying that the obedient movement can work or vote for another political party. No, it is not so. The obedient movement mm. is a sole brand of Peter Gregory Obi because of the Nigerian youth who believes solely in his style of leadership, style of politics, and so he has given directive. When he went to uh, uh, Imo in Oweri, he went there with the obedient family, including the very elected governor of Abia State and most of the stakeholders. And the obedient movement were being directed strongly that Atan, Senator Atan Achon, is the candidate of the Labour, uh, Labour Party and the obedient movement should come out en masse and vote for him directly. You know, uh, when <clears throat> this started, one of the first uh, things uh, that, you, you know, that readily comes to mind is, isn't it because this is an afterthought, uh, when you say the obedient mm. movement is the sole property uh, of the of uh, Mr. Pitobi, uh, because mm. the obedient the word started trending even before perhaps you went to patent it. So, isn't that why you have an issue of coordinating uh, the philosophy and ideals of mm. the movement, and it has become so almost impossible for you to have everyone together in Imo State? Not really a problem. Let me explain. Even as you said that probably the movement got its brand name even before we got the patent. Let me make a clarification. A message was sent. 
a message was sent by an individual, and that particular name resonated with the in, with the individual and the and the youth, and that gives it the name. I give you an example, oh. Ganifawa Emizin. Example, <coughs> Kongosia, and all of that. You can so, also then, say Zikizin. Uh, yeah, of course. Right. So you see, so this particular <laughs> meme comes in within, and it is already tagged Obi. It wasn't any other name. It is the obedient movement, mm. and so you can ascribe it solely to uh, uh, Peter Gregory Obi as the brand owner. So in this case, if there are people who feel that that particular name is resonating and is making an inroad, let's put in it or decimate it in order for them not to win the election in Imo State. So also it may be done in uh, uh, Bayelsa State, it may also be done in um, uh, Kogi State. Mm. And most of our candidates, that have been the ideas. And then what we are, we are trying to do is show coercion. We are showing synergy. Right. and giving directive mm. and so that everybody will know this is the directive and this is where we are going but it it all it's almost um self-indicting more or less because if you say there is something called obedient obedient philosophy or obedient ideology for mm. that matter to what extent have they bought into this obedient ideology that anybody can come from anywhere and sway them by any means, whether financial, you know, whatever, propaganda, if you like. We are living in a very difficult terrain mm. in our political life history at the moment. Where right has been turned, where wrong has been turned to be right, even at the glaring position of it. We've seen where individuals who do not even have anything to do with elections have now become the sole owner of a particular process. Here we are, we are battling with the issue of perjury and forgery. Yet, some people can still go ahead and own and say that particular position is not the way you are painting it. That is the way in which it is now at the moment. So, in this case, some people can even come out and tell you that the obedient movement does not even have an obi, obi name on it. That, that particular name even belongs to another person. And they will justify it. So, in this case, what we are saying is that we are putting our firm grip on what belongs to us and what resonated with our principle. Mm -hmm. And if we do not come out and make this clarification, those who do not understand it will just play to the gallery and go ahead. Votes that are supposed to be made for Senator Atan 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 will go to another candidate. Does, does anyone yeah. understand, mm -hmm. sorry, does yeah. anyone truly understand a singular philosophy of the obedient movement? Mm -hmm. Of course they do. What because exactly the majority of them believe that um, the obedient movement single out a message of hope and direction that Nigeria can be better. And it can be better using a candidature of Peter Gregory Obi and those he believe in. Those who can make a change that resonates with the Nigerian youth, especially because those are the ones that have woken from their slumber and say, hey, let's take a look inward to this particular person. What does he have to give? Looking at his record, what he has done for the people of Anambra, can that be transformed into Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Then if he does, then let's believe in this particular and champion this it's particular. Your party right. financing, yeah. It's your party financing uh, uh, Tana Chono. It's, mm -hmm. it's your party putting money on his campaign. No, no, we, it's, a collective, it's a collective movement. Here I am, I may not be giving him direct money, but here I am talking on his behalf. That mm -hmm. is intellectual contribution. That means, okay, the, the, so obedient, he's that means the obedient uh, do, 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 doesn't give his candidates money. No, they do because they contribute. As we speak, there are people who are contributing okay. to some of the media. I'm only telling you that you can contribute in, in different ways. Right. Very, very well understood. Dr. Yunusa Tanko, spokesperson of Vidati, a campaign organization. Thank you so much Thank for joining.